Hey guys, this is Frozen Mango, and today I'll be showing you how to move your game object uh, left to right, or uh, just a simple A to B, and I'll should be showing you how to move it uh, in a wave-like fashion using sine wave. So let's get into it. So we're just going to make a game object, or actually, we're going to drag in our bird, our beautiful bird, and make him move. Move bird. Hop into Visual Studio. Okay, so we're going to start off with two points public transform and call this point A, and we're going to have a point B. Point B, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with setting our object to point A, point A dot position, and from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our object via vector three, and we're gonna actually do a lerp. So lerp interpolates between A and B via T. So T goes from zero to one. If if it's zero, it's A. If it's T or if it's one, then it's uh, a B, then it's at point B, right? So we're going to put in point A, point B. And what we're going to use for T is actually we're going to use sine. So that's where it gets interesting for T. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to put in just time dot time dot time. And by increasing the speed, increasing time, the speed of time, you increase the frequency. So public float, and call it speed. And then we're going to also have a amplitude and a frequency. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to just put this as frequency because that's what it would be. Or actually, um, we're just gonna call this, yeah, we're just gonna keep it speed, that's fine. Speed and amplitude. And we're also gonna add amplitude. What we're gonna do is an, actually call it amplitude offset. Amplitude offset. There we go, we're just gonna make these position because they're vectors. And so what we're doing here is using sine wave, which goes between negative one and one. And I know that doesn't make sense because I said T has to go between zero and one. But what we do is when we multiply by amplitude, we actually um, we actually make the, the waves smaller. And when we add the amplitude offset, we move the wave up. So it's actually between zero and one. So if I just go into, um, into here and show you guys real quick Desmos uh, sine wave. So here we have a sine wave, as you can see, it goes from negative one to one. Um, but when we add 0 0.5, you can see it moves the wave up. And so we also when we um, when we change the amplitude, make it 0 0.5, we actually make the wave smaller so now it falls nicely between zero and one so by changing k and a we can get it nicely falling between zero and one so hopping back into unity we're actually just going to make a point a and a point b and point a can be there point b can be there and just reference them and we'll give it a speed of five an amplitude, like I said, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and that shifts it ni nicely between 0 and 1. And we should be able to, when we hit play now, it should work. Let's see if it does. And there we go. Moves between A and B quite nicely. And now I'm going to show you something else that's pretty unique. Uh, we're going to do a Y offset. And we're also going to make a new vector. 
the vector three, and since it's on the y, we're gonna do the same thing with the sine wave. And mathf dot. Oh boy, mathf dot sine, and we're gonna do same thing time dot time. But we're just gonna do a copy these and call them y. I go y speed, and pretty much the same thing. Y speed and times y amplitude plus y amplitude and oh and we're missing that zero is that uh, da -da 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 -da. oh there we go and we're going to plug this y offset now and see these points y offset and same thing on here and hop back into unity we're gonna just keep the same values and 0 0.5 0 0.5 and now we're offsetting it on the y with the sine wave as well or not but if we increase the y speed you can see it starts doing it um, we can increase the amplitude Increase the, increase the wave size, and you guys can see it working. So let's just slow that down on the X, so we can see the Y better. And there it is, moving in a wave-like fashion. So um, yeah, by uh, by doing a Y offset, we're just adding it to the to these points here. Okay, well, I hope you guys learned something, and I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you liked it please, well, leave a like and subscribe and I'll be putting more content out in the future.